in this additional video, we present results and some extensions of our optimized image morphing technique. This next set of results is computed fully automatically. The optimization finds good pixel alignment without requiring any control points. In this example, note how the antennas of the butterfly are properly matched. And in this example, we used six keyframes from a video sequence and interpolate the intermediate frames using our algorithm. Note that our result is comparable to the original video. Next, we show results that require the specification of correspondence points to achieve the user's intent. For each example, we specify the number of correspondence points that we used. Note that each of these examples can be constructed in under a minute using our responsive UI. Correspondence points were added progressively where needed until the user was satisfied with the result. In this next example, we let the user draw a mask to ignore the background during optimization. This is useful, for example, in cases such as the circled region, where the contents are vastly different and the user simply wants to smoothly blend the images without further deforming the vector field. In complex cases, segmenting the image is unavoidable. We provide an extension based on intelligent scissors that lets users quickly tag different layers. These layers are morphed independently and then composited. Here, morphing the ball and goalkeeper separately fixes artifacts on the goal net. The fine-grained and detailed matching provided by our approach allows us to combine colors from one image with the shape of the other image. Here, we morph the shape of a caricature to the shape of the corresponding original photograph while preserving the color content from the caricature. And here we do the opposite, to produce an image with the shape of the caricature and the color content of the photograph. We can use our technique to extrapolate the morphing sequence past the original input images. This is particularly appealing when morphing from a photograph to a caricature, such as in this exaggerated caricature example. In cases where regions from one image are not represented in the other image, our method may produce blending artifacts. This is clearly visible in this self-occlusion example, where part of the hair is not visible in one of the images, and therefore blended with the background. Here we show the same example without color blending to more clearly show the distortion induced by the morphing process. We conclude this video by showing additional results of our work. Thank you for your attention.